1967 Topps Roger Maris, Proof of Trade Remember that time Topps printed a career capper card of Roger Maris? All right, that never happened, because Maris retired after the 1968 season at the age of 34, giving Topps enough time to not include him in their 1969 set. But the man who broke Babe Ruth's single-season home run record, surreal at least, got a Yankees career capper card, right? A card that showed all those great seasons he turned in wearing pinstripes. Sure thing. The Bronx Bombers traded Maris to the Cardinals in December of 1966, but he had played that summer in Yankee Stadium as well. His 1967 Topps card captured that last bit of New York Maris. And the card back showed his complete career stats through 1966, including everything he had done with the Yanks. Heck, Maris even landed some nifty Yankee-centric cartoons and a career highlights text, in addition to his minor league and early major league stats with the Cleveland Indians and the Kansas City Athletics. It was a decent cardboard bow on his Bronx career, even if he wouldn't get the same overall treatment two years later. The problem is, of course, this final Yankees card never happened. Here is the real 1967 Topps Maris card. Seems Topps had enough time between the card Yanks trade to reflect the deal in their new set, even if they didn't have enough time to get the Raja in his new uniform. So, the enterprising bunch that they were, they broke out one of those cap-to-the-bill camera headshots, softened out Yankee Stadium in the background, and changed the team name on the card to Cards, and left the pinstripes. But if this is the issued 1967 Topps Maris, what of that one showing him with the Yankees? Ah, consider it proof of life, or proof of change at least. Back in the late 1950s and early 1960s, Tots began cranking out limited print runs of at least some of their new cards early each season as a means of showing them off and looking for any big problems that may have cropped up on their way from concept to production. Meant for internal use only, a few of these proof cards always seems to walk out the door. You could spot one because the proofs had blank backs, and sometimes they were different than the card eventually issued to the public. Like when a legend changed teams, almost like Topps wanted to make sure the trade would stick. That Maris trade stuck, and so did retirement in 1968. Through the 1980s, the 1967 Topps Maris Yankees card was almost mythical, much in the same vein as the 1977 Topps Reggie Jackson Orioles card. Today, we have... <clears throat> Proof that they're both real, though, with the 1967 Topps Maris blank backs turning up often enough that you can't really call them rare in this era of super limited print runs and one of ones. But you can call it expensive. Expect to pay multiple thousands if you really, really have to have one last look at Roger and pinstripes, pretty much regardless of the condition. Or you could just dig into any of the hundreds of modern cards that turned the trick Topps wouldn't or couldn't all those years ago. A Yankee swan song with all the statistical trimmings you could want. <laughs>